In this video is more about basic eyeshadow technique or trick. So, paano ba talaga mag eyeshadow for beginners? Hi guys, this is me again, Albert Kurniawan, and welcome back again to my channel. And today we are talking about eyeshadows. This is actually one of the most asked question to uh, to me from you guys. Na kung paano ba talaga mag eyeshadows. In this video, I will explain to you step by step. Kasi ang tagal pinag-isipan ko na uh, kung paano ko ide deliver sa inyo para mas madali for you guys to understand and to recopy or to do it on yourself also. This actually the technique of mine every time I have a super little time to finish the makeup of my client. In my field of work, I face a lot of shape of eyes. So again, this is the technique normally that winner sa lahat ng shape ng mata. So be it if you're chinita, malaki mata, or hindi pantay yung mata, or also if you have hooded eyes. I know a lot of you been asking me on how to do hooded eyes. Those are the tricks that I will uh, share with you guys in the future. In this video, it's more about basic eyeshadow technique or trick. So, paano ba talaga mag eyeshadow for beginners? Hopefully, you guys can really uh, follow step by step kasi I'm not kidding. This is actually the technique that I will use kung mabilisan lang ako na perfect for all eye shapes. So, before we start, I would like to ask you guys also to get all your eyeshadows, all your tools or your makeup gadget mo sa labas para you guys can really follow me step by step. But before anything else, I would like to thank you guys uh, for all the response that you guys gave it to me when I upload my last video about the eyebrows. The coming few, uh, next few uh, video will be uh, step by step on the basic technique. So for today is eyeshadow and then yung last one eyebrow and then maybe in the next one is eyeliner. From this, I'm going to do all the step by step para paunti unti buuin natin yung muka hanggang in the future when I do certain look or create a certain look uh, or certain makeup it's easy for you guys to follow me also because you guys already learned the basic one as you guys see I already have my eyebrow done because the, uh, from the previous video that we already done eyebrows so sana by this stage naman if you guys haven't done your eyebrow you can post this video and then let's do your eyebrows muna before we move on to the eyeshadows naman I'm going to do a very easy steps for you guys to follow eyeshadows makeup is very therapeutic for me because the blending the color and everything so let's start i'm going to talk lang a little bit about the last video that i did the which is the step by step of doing the eyebrows um i'm so happy that every one of you na karamihan na magpo-message sa akin or nagre-reply ng comment na you guys really uh, learn a lot which is yun naman talaga yung purpose ko with my video uh, especially this video also and the next couple of videos uh, after this okay i'm going to start lang with you guys now by um, helping you guys choosing the right eye shadow brushes that you guys might need for this video so siempre as a makeup artist i have so many brushes with me i'm going to choose or to allow you guys to use only at least three yes Three lang, tatlo lang brush. So I'm going to choose. Kasi normally ginagamit natin ay application brush, blending brush, creasing brush. We need also and the flat liner brush. Pero yung application brush and the creasing brush sinamahan ko na lang siya ngayon. So for you guys to understand, application brush like this is normally flat. Nakita nyo? Flat siya. And then uh, this is the pencil brush or the creasing brush another type of flat brush pero it's more on makapal side siya if you guys can see and then the next one of course the blending brush or the ponytail brush so many sizes of blending brush so let's say i'm going to show it with you guys so three different sizes that i have kasi normally uh, to work with eyes kasi asian eye style lahat i always go for a smaller brush so i'm going to use this one the smallest one from nars since i already promised with you guys only three brushes so i have to choose between the application brush or the creasing brush so i'm going to use the creasing brush and then the last brush is the flat brush 
for flat brush naman we have yung ganitong flat angle and then the next one is this one is the flat liner brush so i'm going to use these three brushes only for our tutorial today so okay now we can start so you guys can use any eyeshadow palette that you have right now but i'll be using my tevian queen palette sorry guys na yung pang bahay ko ngayon kasi uh, ECQ so hindi na ako nagpo-forma para sa inyo kasi hindi rin ako nahihiya sa inyo kasi alam ko you guys treat me like your family so nagpangbahay lang ko ngayon kasi alam ko rin pangbahay rin kayo ngayon abang noon charot so okay um, I'm going to use wet application because uh, for me I believe that the wet application is always 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 make my makeup last longer even though the Tev Teviant eyeshadows already have uh, active ingredients which is also like a eye primer so eye primer and eyeshadow becomes one so what is wet application wet application is if, if either you can dip your brush inside the water or you guys can just spray the brush with water so to make it wet and then i'll swipe the excess water muna sa tissue i'm going to dip any eyeshadow color you want to use but i'm going to use a regular or neutral brown color so for you guys to easily see so for application, I like to do it like this. So still circular motion, pero super small. Tingnan nyo. Or another technique of application is actually, kung nakita nyo, like that, dampi-dampi lang, ganon. You guys can do that also. So yung ginagawa ko normally is like that. Alam nyo yung parang pa-cross. So these are the strokes that you guys need to practice because sometimes by practicing like that to make your hand or your finger soft when you apply eyeshadow on your eyes. And then the next one on the blending brush. Blending brush actually you can use wet application but very careful. It shouldn't be super wet. It should be damp lang siya. Whatever in your eyes, for example, this is in my hand. So you blend it softly. Okay, if you want to see you don't blend like that. Nakita nyo? You don't press the brush. Kasi when you press the brush, uh, yung pressure nyo hindi super uh, pare-parehas yung pressure. Kasi, mer kasi as you can see, our brush is meron may seat dito, mahaba sa gitna. So yung amount of pressure nyo hindi rin pantay. So yung ginagawa ko normally, floating lang dapat guys yung brush nyo. Kita nyo ba? So ganun lang. Nakita nyo? So dapat magaan lang yung kamay nyo. So this is what I do. For you guys to see blending is the key when you do eyeshadow so you really want to blend it well that should be okay and then the next one also is a um, flat brush the application kung gusto niya super flat liner or super malinis ang liner the more you should wet your brush and to make the eyeshadow really stay Kung takot pa kayo mag-eyeliner, flat brush is always a good option for you to do eyeliner because you don't need to draw the line. This is what you do. You, you just tap like that. Nakita nyo? And then, lapit ko lang siya. Tap. And then, tap it again. To slowly extend it. Hanggang makukuha nyo, and then slowly swipe it. Para guidance nyo yan. Para maging straight line siya. So, working with your eyes, you have to be very careful also practice nyo yung floating yung kamay nyo and super magaan yung kamay nyo kasi I don't want you to hurt yourself every time you do eye makeup uh, normally I'm going to apply uh, a little amount of concealer just to base the eyes L'Oreal Infallible uh, Concealer so for you guys to really see I'm going to do one side lang guys guys hindi ko ginagawa to sa totoong buhay ha just for the ECQ lang for me to entertain you guys hopefully you guys really can learn the essence of doing the video this video is not just for me to to have another video to upload but i really want for you guys to learn properly again guys as the just like the last uh, or the previous video i already make myself a little bit dark here compared to my body just because i want you guys to really can see clearly asian eyes this is the perfect uh, step for you uh, and also the hooded eyes I'm going to start again with the application right away. So again, I'm going to spray my brush, application brush, but this time I'm going to use the pencil brush which I can use also as the creasing. So I'm going to use the scarab again. 
buo ko siya agad sa eyelid. Tapos feel. Nakita nyo guys? Nakita nyo? See? Buo agad yung eyelid. And then like my eyes is semi-hooded or your eyes is hooded. What you have to do, do your eyes while your eyes open. So do like that. So you will see the placement of the eyeshadow. Para alam ko hanggang doon dapat i-apply ko yung eyeshadow ko. So I'm going to use my blending brush or the big ponytail brush. So right now I'm going to blend it. So the blending should be light hand again. So soft lang. You guys can do like that. Like that muna hanggang medyo patuyo na yung tubig na spray natin sa brush. And then slowly you do the circular motion. Hanggang yung edges niya maging soft. I'm going to take any transition color, but for me, I like to use this Clio. Sa edges lang, para mas mukhang soft ulit yung kanina. Nakita nyo kung paano soft na siya, guys. You can use your fingertip to soften pa yung extra edges niya, para mas malambot pa. Kasi tandaan nyo, blending is the key, guys, ha? You don't have to blend it upward hanggang dito kasi we want to have certain highlights and certain depth. So I'm going to use the same brush again that I used earlier for the application brush. Wet it again. I'm going to take any color which is very shimmery to highlight, to give or to bounce light on our eyes. Actually, you guys can mix the gold with this Luxor. Now, I'm going to apply it on the half of the eyelid from the inner corner. Tingnan nyo guys. And then the last color that we need is actually a lightest color. So I'm going to spray it again. So I'm going to use the lighter, the lightest gold naman in the middle part of the eyes lang. So I'm going to use my finger the lightest one or pinaka shimmery normally nilalagay ko siya sa gitna ng lid kasi it's the one highest point of your eyes so when you open your eyes it bounces light better and i'm going to use a little bit of product for the lower part of the eyes so i'm going to spray again using the same brush using the same color earlier the first color okay now we're just going to apply on the outer part of the lower eyes then connect it, the upper and the lower. So I'm going to use the darkest brown that we have here. I'm going to do only that part of the eyes. So technically, we're dividing the eyes into three. So ngayon, using the blending brush that we already have earlier or we used earlier, you just have to swipe everything together. So I'm going to use a flat brush that I have. I'm going to use the black one. So what I'm going to do, just use the flat brush, draw it or apply it on top of the lash line. This one, it has, you don't have to be precise, it's okay, because this is just the draft of our eyeliner, guys. This one actually helping our eyes make uh, look bigger and deeper so ngayon if you already have powder you can just easily remove the excess here and then little bit swipe on top para make everything seamless and softer i'm going to curl my lashes you guys can do the mascara already before you do the finishing touches Kasi mascara is really make the line that we uh, the eyeliner parang mukhang may eyeliner kayo mas mas maitim and also mas intense mas buhay pa yung mata and then at the same time also I'm going to do it here sa baba I'm going to add a little bit of powder or retouch a little bit of powder with the lower part of my eyes powder that you like 
Tingnan mo kung paano malinis na siya. I'm going to finish it with the uh, highlighting a little bit lang. I'm going to use highlighters. So I'm going to put it here. So technically this technique, actually technique ng mami ko, kung paano siya mag uh, gumawa ng eye makeup para mas mukhang malinis. So from this you guys can put accent like glitter liner or highlighters. I'm going to add this ano to, Huda Beauty. So I'm going to add maybe a little bit of purple para mas in ngay ngayon. Kasi yung purple is quite in ngayon in this season. So a lot of people nakikita ko na purple eye shadow. The placement is only on the eyelid. Now, um, for you guys to see, I'm going to use naman blue. So you guys can really see. So anong sinasabi ko? It works with any color. I'm going to finish these eyes with um, highlighters uh, again yung little bit glittery I'm using this bonjour I'm going to tap a little bit here sa inner and then just to make buo lang yung mata ko I'm going to use a uh, false lashes so that you guys can really see the effect So again guys, um, any color of eyeshadow is always fine because uh, it's a matter of choice as I said. Pero the right placement. Clean every steps that you can. So let's make your makeup look better. This is the look that we have today. Very simple and easy of doing eyeshadows. For those of you uh, who haven't subscribed to my channel, please uh, click on the subscribe button because uh, it means a lot to me. Click also the bell button so you guys can be notified every time I have a new video. So, and I really, really hope you guys learned something from my, this, uh, my video this time. Thank you so much.